bitches in my Motorola and I'm speeding like I robbed someone. Falling and I'm a whip, yeah. Out in flat flat, going hard in the pit, yeah. Yeah, I still ball in the pitch, yeah. Something wrong with the picture. Something is wrong with the way, and I don't know why. Why, why, why? Why you need to. Okay, so today is the first day of me going to look at cars. Today I'm going to look at Honda and the. Mazda, Mazda, I almost said Mazda, I don't know why, that was really bad, so that's gonna be really fun, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me, um, while I go to those places to see the different cars, see what I want, because I originally wanted a Jeep for so long, but I looked at Honda and Mazda, and they had all the features I wanted for the same price as the base model of a Jeep, if you know what I mean, like I had, like for the Jeep, for all the stuff that I wanted, with it i would have had to pay extra and so but with the mazda and the honda i get all of them already included at the same price of the base model of the jeeps so. okay so most of you guys are probably wondering why i'm going car shopping when i just redecorated my car so my car now like my transmission's been going for the past year or so and i've been trying to just like salvage my car and do things to it but now my car won't even go over 20 miles per hour so my transmission is like dying death and my issue is is that i need a reliable car to get me to and from philly and i also have an internship next semester that's 45 minutes away from school that's 45 minutes away from school so i can't take a car that can barely go over 20 miles per hour 45 minutes five days a week like that's just ridiculous and it just wouldn't work out so <sighs> i had to say goodbye to fernando and honestly it's kind of bittersweet because this is my first car and honestly like he's been through it with me uh, through it honestly because i've taken this to and from east Stroudsburg. i went to dc with this car i went to Cortland with this car I went to Albany with this car. Like I went everywhere with this car and to and from Long Island from Philly. It was really bad. Like not the summer that just passed, but the summer before that, I had to be in Philly for an internship three times a week, either Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I was driving a lot. Like Fernando's been through it <laughs> actually. So it's about time for me to say goodbye to Fernando. I'm trying to get a new car before he like dies and I'm stranded. So that's really what I'm going for today. And so today I'm just gonna go look at cars because like I said before, I've always wanted a Jeep. And I don't know, if I were to get a Jeep, I would want a Wrangler because that is my dream car. I've always wanted it. I don't think I've ever wanted more. I feel like that's because I lived by the beach my whole life. And I'm just a beachy person, so I've always wanted it. But when I looked at my finances and everything, with me being in school still and all, it wasn't. It just wasn't feasible to get a Wrangler right now. So then I would have had to settle for a car that I really didn't like, like the, um, like any other Jeep really. Like I said that I was gonna get a Renegade, but then I moved myself back and forth from school a lot and I drive a lot so I'm like I need the space in my car and I love this car because it's a hatchback and I love my hatchback love 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 so I'm very upset so I said that it's not even worth it let me just look at other cars so when I was looking at other cars when I gave up on the Jeep because the only Jeep that I could afford that was in my price range was a Compass and I don't know I didn't really like the Compass so much the compass just really um it just didn't do it for me like it didn't have enough things for me to say oh, okay like i'll just get this and i'll be okay it didn't so now i was looking into the mazdas and i was looking into hondas i honestly hate american cars hate them with a burning passion i don't know why i just don't like them so that just made this decision like so much harder kind of because I don't know I just like I don't like Toyotas Toyotas I just don't like how they drive I don't like it I'm not a small car person I need a bigger car I need the space that's just because it's me I was taught how to drive in a big car 
Like, I was taught how to drive in a Nissan Pathfinder, which is huge. And my mom still has that car to this day. So, it's like, all right, like, I'm a big car girl. Like, everyone in my house besides my mom has a small car. Like, my dad has a Camry. My brother has a Honda Civic. And I just don't like it. I don't like little cars. So, I always knew that I was going to have to spend a little because I don't like little cars. So, that's really where I'm at. And honestly, I hate it here. I really do because I really wanted a Wrangler, but I just can't afford it on my own at the point at this point in my life. So, what I do really, really, really do want is a either a Honda, not a Honda, either a Mazda CX-5 or a CX-30. If I could get the CX-5, I'd rather get the CX-5. But the CX-30, even though it has like little cargo space, um, I feel like I would still do okay with. So that's really why I'm going to Mazda today to compare and see. And I'm not going with my mom today because I'm still in Philly. So I'm going to check out, I'm going to check them out in Philly um, to just get an idea. Because when I go home, I'm probably buying the car once I get home once I take my mom to go test drive stuff with me but I just rather go and kind of just see and get that stuff all acquainted before I go with my mom so I can kind of make a decision and figure out really what I want to do so yeah I'll meet y'all at the dealership okay guys so I totally fumbled the bag and did not vlog at all while I was at Mazda but I tried the CX-30, didn't really like it, it was too tiny, plus David couldn't fit in the car. Well, he could barely fit, and that, that, that was already a, you know, not a good idea. So I tried the CX-5, I really liked the CX-5, and I fell in love with it. I fell in love with the 2020, which I was debating if I wanted a 2021 or a 2020, and there's really no difference anyway it's just like screen size and because of the jeep that i wanted it was originally only a seven inch or an eight inch anyway so it's a seven inch for the 2021 so i was like oh it doesn't make a difference like it's not even gonna bother me so i really liked it it was 2020 cx5 touring i liked it it was cute and all so i didn't buy it today though just because i want to try it when it's sunny out and it's not raining because it's downpouring now and i'm still gonna look at other cars like i'm on my way to hyundai right now and then i'm probably gonna do honda and i don't know where else i want to go but those are the other ones just so i can compare the cars and see but as of right now the mazda cx5 is number one right now so we'll see and stay tuned okay so right now i'm trying the 2021 hyundai what is this one this is the Tucson. Pretty sure it's Tucson. Um, this is a $31,000 car, and this feels just very cheap, and it's very outdated versus the um, Mazda that I just tried and that I really fell in love with. So I don't know if I really like this one, including I don't like the Dash, the other one. This just feels cheap. It's hard everywhere. There's all soft places, like... It just looks very outdated and very bad, so I don't really like this one. I think I'm about to go inside and say that I just don't like it, just because there's just certain stuff that I just personally like better, and that doesn't come with this car. Um, I don't really know like the specs and everything of it, per se, just because I didn't really get all that stuff before. I wanted to touch drive it and see how I like it, how it feel. The Mazda had the sport mode, this doesn't really have the sport mode, and this is the level up from the basic model, so I just had higher standards for how this would drive and all, and my standards are not that at all. I don't like it at all, so, honey Tucson, nope, next, catch y'all later. Okay guys, so next place is Honda, so I really don't like Hondas, I hated the Hyundai. So let's cross our fingers and see if I like the Honda. But as of right now, Mazda's still my number one. I'm like 98% sure that I want a Mazda. So we're gonna try this Honda and see how it goes. All right guys, so I'm just getting back from Honda. 
and they're way too damn expensive so i'm not getting a honda that's totally out of the question all right guys so day two so as we all know i already have a subaru so i thought it's only fair that i look at a newer subaru so i'm probably gonna look at a 2020 Super Forester. That's what I have right now. Is a 2001. So that's gonna be a real upgrade if I get it. So first up for today for cars is a Subaru. Get back at ya. Okay, guys. So uh, to my surprise, I really do like the Subaru Forester. I didn't think I would like it as much. And honestly, this is the same price as the 2020 Mazda that I was looking at. And this is a 2021. And as we know, I have a 2001 Subaru Forester. I just like it. I like how the infotainment system is flushed in compared to the Mazda being on top. And this in the Mazda is where like the wheel is. So I like how it's totally separate. And I have more space in here. The keys are like the same. These keys are cute. And it has everything the same as the Mazda. David, do I turn here? Um, it has everything the same as the Mazda, but this is just bigger. And I feel like I need more space anyway, um, just because I do a lot of my moving myself myself. So this is way bigger. This is double the size back-wise as the Mazda CX-5 for trunk space and when I put the seats down in the back. So that's another plus that would be one of the big factors that of me getting this car versus the Mazda CX-5. So right now, the Mazda CX-5 and the Subaru Forester are neck and neck because the only thing that's putting this car over the CX-5 is the trunk space, honestly. That's really all. I really like this one. I didn't think I would like this as much as I do just because I, I thought, oh, I already had a Forester, why should I get another one? But I'm very surprised at this, actually. The wheel is comfortable. It's great. So, right now, it's neck and neck. I'm sorry. It's all good. 